Hello everybody, Fernando Nunes here. In this video, I'll be showing you my whole process, how I drew this skull using only the mouse. This is for those who don't have, but also for those who have graphic tablet. I will highlight here that I did this sketch in the Photoshop using a graphic tablet, but you can pretty much use a piece of paper and a pencil to create this. Then just take a picture and paste it in the Illustrator. You can check it out on the other videos on my YouTube channel. So let's get into it. Start making a circle, find the horizontal middle and draw a curving line from the top to the bottom. Divide the two horizontal parts in the middle and repeat the process in the vertical. Create an ellipse in the right side of the divided area. Connect the circle with the bottom with the lines that will define the front side of the head. And then connect the jawline from the ellipse's middle downside to the chin. Use the circle division to limit the eye size. Draw the nose a little bit out of the middle line. Add the remaining details such as cheekbones and upper teeth. Then I just add some shadow to guide me when coloring. So I paste the sketch image on the first layer of the illustrator and name it sketch. I create a new layer to start the outline. And then I import my irregular custom brushes. And start testing the brushes and see which one best fits. Once decided, I start tracing the lines of the school. There are some times the line will not look so beautiful, so we need to test the brush options. We can draw the line art by following the sketch path or even adding point by point just as I am doing on the teeth. After creating the line art, we must duplicate the layer and move it down. Name the layer to Colors or Color Base. Select All, Ctrl A, go to Object, Expand Appearance. This feature transforms our lines and strokes into shapes. Once expanded, create a square larger than the line art, paint this shape white and send the object backwards. Right click and arrange send to back. Select the black line, go to similar, select similar objects and select fill color. That is, the app will select all the shapes that have the same color. Go to Pathfinder and click Unite. Select all the objects of the colors layers, white shapes and black shapes. Go to Pathfinder and click on Divide. Delete the parts of the square that are not the part of the illustration and we will have all the elements separated. Create new layer for the hard, sh hard shadows, select the base color of the school and with the knife tool, cut off the area that you want the shadow. Then select the cropped part, press Ctrl C to copy, Ctrl Z until it returns to the original format of the base color, press Ctrl F to the shadow layer and paint the black object and erase the corners of the shape so that the shadow doesn't mix with the outline. Create a new details layer and draw the cracks, the wrinkles, small details and whatever you want. Remember that at this moment we are working only with black and white colors. So use both colors to detail. Create a new layer, name it Helmet. If you want, increase your artboard size a little. With the circle tool selected, 
Press Alt, Shift, and click and drag, making a circle larger than the school. Create a new layer for the stars. Start drawing dots around the school. Create a new layer for the helmet's shine. Draw two curved ellipses, one larger and one smaller. Unlock all layers except the sketch layer. Select all and go to object and expand appearance. Remove all the outline from everything. Select the black element, go to select similar object and fill color. Select a desired color to replace the black outlines and select the white element, go to select similar object, fill color and then replace to a color that you want. Create a new layer and with the square to create a background. Create a new layer for shadow 2. Select the colors base element and with the knife tool, cut off the areas that will be the shadows. Copy the cropped area, select the shadow 2 layer and with Ctrl F paste the cropped object. Choose a color to be the shadow, if necessary decrease the opacity to blend with the color base. Repeat the process until the areas that you want to apply shadows are completed. It's very nice to select the tool eye to copy the style of the shadow already applied for the first time. You can copy the entire shape of the basic color Paste in the shadow tool layer and use the eraser tool to erase the details. To create the glow effect on the stars, I group them all together, Ctrl C, Ctrl F, and then add the blur effect. I keep adding small details of the light. And now I create a new layer and draw an ellipse and work only with the stroke from my irregular effects. With the intergalactic grain and glowing back, I make a small details that give the feeling of shine, luminosity and dissolving elements. 